All right, guys, today I'm going to be using the new Tesla app in Southwest Florida. So as you can see, if I get my phone out here and unlock it, I can actually navigate to the Tesla app. I can actually unlock and do all these crazy stuff. But first things first, I actually need to spawn the car in. So let me just put the phone away. Let me spawn in the Model S. Okay, I'm going to just park it like over here so that it can drive to me. It's a cool little feature in the app. Just spawn it right there. Boom. All right, so let's head back over here. Okay, so let's open the phone back up here and go back into the Tesla app. And now you can see right here, it says summon vehicle. So, so the car's over there. I'm going to click summon now. And then it should start coming over to me. As you can see, the lights just turned on. And there we go. It's coming over. It's coming over. It should just park up right next to me. I have no idea. I've never used this before. Okay. Nice and slowly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's it going? I think, I think it's... Okay, no, no. It's... It's going to reverse. Okay, right. Nice. Some great driving there from the Tesla. All right, so let's get inside of the car here. And um, what we need to do is we need to set the location. Because this is autopilot, I need to set the location as to where I'm going. So I'm going to navigate to this right here that says location. And now I'm going to type in where I want to go. So I'm going to type in Muck Bloxers. And then I'm going to click enter. And then it should start to drive there. It should. I don't know if this works. There we go. It's going to start driving to Starblocks. Looks like it's going to take the long route all the way around the roundabout for some reason. Hey, I guess that's legal. I guess it makes sense. Um, but this is fully autonomous. I'm not touching the steering wheel. I'm not doing anything. Like, this fully works, automated. I'm not driving it. I'm going to put my phone away and just let it drive. Like, you can see right now, I'm moving my mouse around. Like, here's my hand. Like, this is literally working, bro. All right, so it's going to stop at the stop sign. Interesting. And then it's going to go right. There we go. Off it goes. Very clean driving, bro. Autopilot's is a better driver than me. I'm not going to lie. It's abiding by the speed limit, which is 40, as you can see. Um, go nice and slow. Don't really like slowness. Uh, so be nice if I could up the speed. Obviously, I can't. All right, so while it's driving us, um, and as you can see, it's got these cool things that come up on screen telling us where it's going. It's just going forward right now down this road. What we're going to do is we're going to open the app up again. Okay, so here we go. Let's open it up. Let's go back into the Tesla app. And you can actually turn on AC. So let's turn on AC. All right, so click that. And there we go. AC is now on. I don't know if you can hear that. Pretty cool, man. I think that's pretty cool. We can also tell it to change lane. So if I click this left arrow here, it should indicate and turn into the left lane. We'll see. I don't know. Is, yeah, there we go. It takes a little minute for it to register, but it just worked there. I can also, I'm pretty sure I can turn on the headlights and turn them on and off. So let me just click this button here. It should turn them off. There we go. Click it again. There we go. Interesting. Very cool. Turn them on and off. It's very uh, cool. It's a very cool feature. This is a really cool app. I really do like it. Um, you know, I can go anywhere I want without having to do a single thing, bro. So what do you guys think of this? Comment down below. Would you benefit from this app? Obviously, only I have access to the app. And you know why I have access to it? Because I'm Camplays. And if you want to be as cool as me, you can click the subscribe button and maybe you'll get access to this app. Maybe it'll even come in the revamp. Who knows? Hmm? Anyway, we're coming up to the big intersection here, and I'm assuming it's going to get into the right lane. I might have to tell it. Let me just um, click right lane. There we go. It's going to go into the right lane now. I, I don't know if it knew. Anyway, I'm going to close the app now. There we go. All right, just stopping at the red light. There we go. Very professional driver. This is brilliant, man. You know, I can just sit back, recline in my chair, enjoy a lovely, um, you know, this is uh, water, and just relax as it drives for me. Like, this is crazy, man. All right, it's going into the right lane now. And uh, to show you that I'm actually, like, playing this is live, I'm in the game right now. I'm going to change the time of day to 12, just now. I just did that right now. You can see, just changed the time of the day. All right, anyway, I think it's going to make a big maneuver now over these lanes. It was a bit late changing lane, but there we go. It did the job. And now it's going to get me to McBlox's. There we go. Great stuff, great stuff. I wonder if it could send me around the drive through I doubt it. <laughs> what is it doing? I have no idea what it's doing. All right, turning left. Um, is it going to park or is it going to, like, dump me? I don't know. I think it's going to try and park the car. I don't know what it's doing. It's thinking about it. <laughs> it's really thinking. I mean, hey, it did a pretty good job. I'm not going to lie. All right, and there we go. Autopilot has disengaged and it's done. So I'm going to hop out. And look at that. That was great. So... 
yeah that's tesla autopilot in southwest florida hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did click the subscribe button leave a like and just to let you know this was all fake thanks for watching goodbye